hi guys today we will see like how to upload um, the Cisco iOS V images to the Eve NG so this is the procedure like you need to have um, the, the you need to make create a directory first in uh, the party so you have to go to party so this is a party right now and um, first is like uh, we, we are trying to get images from Cisco IOS V and IOS VL2. So, go on to the Cisco website. You need to have a username and password for Cisco IOS VL2. So, this is the image that is there. That is as a dot qcow2 image. And if you see for IOS V, this is the image that comes as a VMDK. So, now we are going to upload the IOS V and the IOS V, uh, IOS V L2 image both uh, as well into the uh, Eve, um, Eve NG. So, what we need to follow is first uh, we need to log into um, the Eve NG in a root and or you can use Putty to log in. So, I have just logged into Putty and uh, the first uh, step that we are going to do is uh, for uh, the dot uh, bmtk file that we are going to enter so this is the first uh, step so once you go in so you need to um, create the directory so that this is the mk create the directory and um, this is the command and so this is the file so first file over here you see here is uh, VIOS A20 FPA 1573 so that's the file that we are going to uh, try to bring bring in here advanced ek 9vdmk when I give that it automatically creates into that file so to verify whether what is the file the is it the same file type you see a va.vdmk once we download the file that's how the file looks so ios if the uh, vios i have expired this is the file um for the v vmdk and this is the file for the l2 so we need to have these two files in a separate folder so once this folder make directory we create the folder over here once that is done you need to log in to your um, ACP I'm using this transfer protocol and go into that corresponding folder over here so this is like uh, created a VOS this VMDMK folder and then from your left hand side where you have, where you have the downloaded file just drag and drop it here once you drop it over here the next thing is to go into the directory and check whether data you have so the command to check is ls when you give ls so you can see here the this file has been uploaded after you do that now you have to rename this file into another file so that for that one you have to go to this is the command for rename so mv and vios the same file and then the, again the same file dot bmdk so when you give as such this file will extension was, uh, gets changed to dot bmdk so once that is done then again you can go into this uh, folder vos this folder and then you have to convert this uh, file into the um, virt ioa file so this command we have to execute again and when you execute you can see that this file is done gone into with your file then you can remove that uh, existing dot bmdk file rmvs you can remove that file when you then you give ls you can see only the vto dot dot file after that you have to fix the permissions this is the it will come valid this is the same thing that you have to do when you upload for your uh, l2 image so the same procedure that you go uh, do like for vos l2 you do the image and then um, uh, you have to um, uh, remove the make the changes uh, for rm you have to make the changes you see here the what are the files that is there available in that qmu once you do that uh, change then you can see that uh, uh you have to fix the permissions so this step is also available in the evng like you can see the step by step procedure 
how to do the fix permission i will give you the link where we have this uh, permissions done so once you have done completed that one and then when you add a node if you right click and go to node now you can see the cisco voas router and then you can when you add the router so you can see the router is added in this lab hope uh, this is helpful cheers guys